Welcome to Unreal Engine 4 board game tutorial series. Today we are going to add a board and a peon to our project. Let's get to work. Make a simple board game template. I use Canva. That come for like simple tasks. and download as ping your design. Drag and drop it in your content browser. In geometry panel, drag and drop a box. Make it larger and ticker. Drag ping file on the box. Optimize UV scale. And now we need a peon model. I download mine from sketchfab.com. It's very useful website for finding models. Download a peon file in FBX format and unzip it. Drag the FBX file to your content browser. This little guy will be our peon. Create a character blueprint and name as peon VP. Open its blueprint. Add a static mesh component. Choose Peon Mesh you just downloaded. Scale it. And this is really important. Turn Static Mesh's Collison as no collision. We are doing it because Character Cap Soup component has already a pawn Collison. Having more than one Collison leads occurring bugs in next steps on your project. Locate and scale Capsule and Static Mesh together. Drag and drop the Peon underscore B Peon board and scale a little bigger. Now we need actors for every numbers on the board. Create an actor and name as actor BP. Drag and drop on number one. Holding Alt, clone it for a V number. Just be careful. Actor numbers and board numbers must be fit. Okay, now we'll make the peon move. Open level blueprint and create a custom event. Name is peon move to. Call a move to. This event make a character move to a location or a target actor. We need to peon and actor's references to make it works. Find and choose peon b peon outline. Come back level blueprint and rig click. This method only works on level blueprint. Bind it to pawn nod. Now we need target actors. Make reference all actors in same way in a row. Call select. Change pin type as actor object reference and change index reference as integer. Enlarge pins to 16. Bind actor references with pins by numbers. It is important that actor numbers and pin numbers fit. And bind return value to target actor. Now we are going to set that index value by dice Royselt. Go to dice BP and open its blueprint. Create a variable integer and name as dice result. And set it six times and bind them with print strings. Change their integer value as same as print strings which they bond to. Compli and geodo level blueprint. Create reference of dice BP. Get dice result integer from it. Bind to index. Now we are going to call this peon move to event when dice is rolled. For doing that, I'm gonna use dispatchers. Create a dispatcher and name as peon move dispatcher and bind all nodes to it. Let's bind the event to dispatcher. Go to level blueprint and create event begin play. Create a reference of dice BP. Bind event to peon move to. 
and bind it to your event with this red knot. OK, dice rolls. When it stops, this dispatcher will be called, and dispatcher calls peon move to event, and peon goes to actor by dice result integer. Well, it doesn't move, because we needs to calculate ways to its target, and it can't make it without nav mesh bounds volume, so drag and drop a nav mesh bounds volume on board, scale it as board size. As you can see now it is moving. And of course dice result doesn't. So geodo level blueprint and create a variable integer. Name as total integer. Get it and sub with dice result integer. Bind to index. And set it after peon move to and bind it with your ttool result. Now we are adding every result to our total. Yes, it's working. But there are some problems. Beyond using shortest way to reach its target, not using edges or corners, and total result is greater than 16, it's going to bug. We want to peon use edges and corners when it's moving, not the middle. So choose nav mesh bounds volume and make it more narrow. And clone it for every edge. Reason of bugging when total result greater than 16 is we have only 16 pin in select. So we need to control result before peon moves. Create a function and name as result is greater than 16. Create an integer input name as dice result. Get total integer and sub with it. Call greater than integer. We don't want result is greater than 16. So fill with 16 in here. Call branch and bind it. Create an output and copy paste it for other possibility. Name as total result and bind with branch. When the total result is greater than 16, set to 16. And result is below the 16, just bind it with your total. Return event graph and delete this. Drag and drop the function which you just created. We can make it his function smaller. Choose pure and return. That is nice. Get dice result integer from dice BP reference and bind it, and bind it to index and set total integer. Let's test it. It personally works. Thanks you watching. See you in next tutorial video.